Hey everybody, it's Ben from BadgeList, and I am going to do a quick walkthrough today to show you all the different workflows, both from the learner's perspective and from the admin's perspective. So uh, BadgeList is a software that's designed to host, build, and issue open badges based on learning evidence. So from the learner's perspective, what you'll first see is the home screen. And on the home screen, you'll see your smiling face when you've uploaded your photo, all the badges that are in progress, which are the badges that you're still working on earning. And then down here, you'll see all the learning groups that you're a member of. Uh, if I want to see all the badges that I've earned already, I'll click this orange ribbon and that will take me to my badge profile page. And then I'll be able to see all of the badges that I've earned in each learning group neatly arrayed. If I want to share a badge to social media, I just click on a badge that I've earned and I click this share the badge button and this helpful interface will pop up and walk you through the process of sharing your badge to your LinkedIn profile, Facebook, Twitter, your Mozilla backpack, or you can just get an HTML embed code if you want to put it on a blog or website. So how do I earn a badge as a learner? Well, what I want to do is come to a group that is issuing badges. So in this case, this is the group for the Q2016 National Conference. Uh, for the conference, they issued six different badges to engage the people who attended in various ways. For the attendee badge, all you have to do is post a photo of yourself at the conference and share your learning goals for the event. Uh, there are also badges for sharing photos of the various sessions, or you could earn a badge for tweeting about the conference as well. So let's say I wanna earn this tweeter badge. What I'm gonna do is click the badge and then click join this badge. And then this will allow me to start actually uploading evidence in order to earn the badge. So for this badge, what I'm gonna do is click this first evidence item, post a tweet about the happenings at Q16. This will take me to this upload page where I can either compose a tweet right in BadgeList or I can post an existing tweet. So let's say I wanna post an existing tweet, I'll click that button, go over to my Twitter profile, click on one of my tweets, get the URL just by copying it up here, bring it back over, paste it in this bar, and then I'll push enter and click the post evidence button. And then this will allow me to actually show the evidence that I've offered. So in order to earn this badge, then I would have to upload two more tweets, come over here and click the request feedback button. And this indicates to the group admins that I'm ready to have my evidence reviewed in order to earn the badge. So what does it look like from the group admins perspective? Well, basically what you'll see is the same interface for the group. All the badges inside the group will also see all the members of the group, all the other admins. But what's different from the admins perspective is that I can also see the number of pending feedback requests. So these orange flags down here are all the different outstanding feedback requests for people who have submitted all their evidence but haven't had their evidence reviewed yet. You'll also able, able to see the number of learners and the people who uh, have actually become experts and earned the badge. So if I want to respond to feedback requests, I'll click this feedback request button. This will take me to a screen that shows all the different badges in the group and how many different feedback requests are outstanding. So we can see the tweeter badge and the social butterfly badge both have several feedback requests that are waiting for review. So I'll click this and this will take me to the evidence review screen. So now I can see all of the evidence that's submitted by, been submitted by all these learners in order to earn the badge. So I can either submit my feedback one at a time by just clicking the box up in the upper right, clicking add feedback, saying something like, hey, great evidence, thanks for posting it. I can click endorse and then that will issue the badge. Or if they haven't effectively completed all the evidence they need to in order to earn the badge, I can click feedback only. That will send that feedback to them, but it will not issue the badge. Also, if you wanna save time uh, in issuing a whole bunch of different uh, feedbacks to everyone in the group at once. You can just click select all. That will select all the logs that have outstanding feedback requests. Click add feedback and I can actually then endorse everyone for the badge at once. You can do this for up to 50 learners at once so it makes it much easier to offer feedback to a large number of people at once if that's something that you need to do. So uh, that's the high level picture for the workflows. If you have any questions about how BadgeList works in the future, just join BadgeList. You can click this intercom button in the lower right corner of your screen, and then you can ask me a question and I will be able to respond to you directly in the app. Um, so thanks for watching and thanks for using BadgeList. Have a great one.